Today is Friday, June 26, and this is your weekly grain market review. For the week, December corn was up 5 cents. November soybeans were up 12 and a half. September Chicago wheat finished down 19 as wheat harvest continues across the country. And the Wheat Quality Council Spring Wheat Tour concluded on Thursday. Weather forecasts are calling for hot and dry conditions to start the first weeks of August across the country. While corn prices remain low, demand is steady at ethanol and feed plants. A weather scare could mean an improved price for corn, but it will have to be severe in order to make a real difference. So keep an eye on the forecast in the corn belt as you market your grain. New crop soybean sales are finally starting to ramp up as low soybean prices in the states have made our beans competitive with Brazil on the international stage. As with corn, hot and dry weather will have to be severe in order to shake up the prices. With roughly 80% of U.S. winter wheat harvested, attention is turning to spring wheat conditions out west and in Canada. Dry weather and hot temperatures play a factor, but North Dakota, the largest spring wheat producer in the nation, is showing 83% of spring wheat in good to excellent condition. The Wheat Quality Council finished their tour of several states on Thursday and are calling for a bumper crop in many areas. As we work through wheat harvest, stay in contact with your local Country Visions merchandiser to discuss marketing and pricing options.